It's the summertime, and that means vacation time is finally here. But that's expensive. Did you know that the average family spends $4,000 or more just to get away on vacation? So listen up. Today, I'm going to give you my three best tips on how to take your family on vacation and save thousands of dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Shannon's Swapcation. Tip number one is do a housing swap and don't pay for accommodation. That's right, you heard me, no money down for accommodation. It's totally possible. There are a ton of online home exchanges that you can click through the photos, kind of like Facebook. You can chat with the homeowners and then they come to your house and you go to their house while both of you are on vacation and nobody pays any money. Kind of like The Holiday, the movie with uh, Cameron Diaz and Kate Winslet. I don't know if Jude Law is included in anybody's home exchange, but we can all hope so. Other benefits to doing a housing swap is also that sometimes a car might even be included depending on where you're staying, which would be super sweet. But also you get a local perspective from a family who lives and breathes the neighborhood. They can give you tips on where to go, restaurants, sites to see that you just wouldn't get from a hotel concierge. Plus it's free. So three really reputable sites that you can use are homeexchange.com, stayforfree.com, and that's stay number four free.com and also exchangezones.com. They've been around for a long time and they have high volume use and lots of users from all over the world. My next tip is to stay within 500 kilometers of where you live to go on your swapcation. So the reason is, is that you can drive. And yes, I know gas prices are high, but they're probably not as high as the cost for flying an entire family to a destination. Also, in the summertime, flight costs go right up depending on where you're staying, so a car generally will kind of stay the same. And second of all, what I really like about driving to your location is that if you go there in your own vehicle, then you don't have to rent a car once you're already there. When you actually fly to a place and then you need to get around when you're actually touring and go grocery shopping or anything, you need to rent a car. This way, if you take your car on your swapcation, you totally negate the need to do that. My third tip is to cook. So while you're on a swapcation, you'll have a house that comes fully equipped with a kitchen and plus if you brought your car like tip number two, then it's no big D to go get some groceries and haul them back to the house. This way you can cook for your family for breakfast, lunch and dinner if you want to or you only have to dine out when it's on your terms at your cost. If you're staying at a hotel, it's likely that you're looking at paying for breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks for your whole family the entire time that you're on vacation and that can really add up. So this way you can save money and you can be as healthy as you want. So now I'm going to actually work you through an example where you'll see that a family of four was able to save $3,820 doing a swapcation versus a traditional one. So we're breaking down the traditional vacation versus the swapcation. We're talking six nights, a family of four, and driving was necessary once the family reached their travel destination. So they're going to have to rent a car. So let's look at the savings from accommodation. So I assumed about $250 a night for the whole family to stay for six nights versus the swapcation, which is no money at all. So already we have a savings of $1,500, which is awesome. Second, traveling to the actual destination. I've assumed 500 kilometers for both people. So here it was $300 per flight if the whole family was actually gonna fly. And then here I actually have you driving to the destination and about $300 in gas, $150 there, and $150 on the way home. So there we have a savings of about $900. And then we have to talk about travel when you're actually at the destination. So for both vacations, I've assumed $30 a day in gas, but for the swapcation, we don't have to worry about the rental fee of about $50 a day for the whole family to rent a car while they're actually on vacation. So we have a total savings of about $300 there from bringing your own car. And then lastly, another big one is the meals. Let's assume that breakfast was included at the hotel because a lot of times places will actually have that. So let's say you don't have to pay for breakfast. But for a family of four to go out for lunch, it's probably gonna cost about $120 a day. And for dinner, about $150 at the minimum. It could cost way more depending on how swanky your tastes are. But if we did the swapcation and we assumed that there was about $500 in groceries for the whole week and that you ate in for lunch and dinner and had not a lot of fun that way, but let's assume that you did it all well, then that's a savings of about $1,120 for this whole family. So the traditional vacation would have cost this family about $4,800, whereas the swapcation, same type of vacation, only cost $980 for this family. So that's a total savings of $3,820.
blow mind. That's so much money. So until Coral came around, swapcations were my big kept secret, and now you know how to save thousands of dollars on your vacation every single summer. So happy swapcation, everybody, and enjoy the summer. You should subscribe if you wish that Jude Law would come with your swap vacation. I know I would.